Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from South Central Wisconsin, where a 92 PTO horsepower diesel-fueled Oliver 1850 tractor is working on primary tillage, turning under corn stalks with an Oliver 466 9 chank chisel plow. This chisel plow can be set to run anywhere from 5 to 7 inches deep. In this video, I would like to share with you the tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this tillage action. The Model 1850 is part of Oliver's 50 series line of tractors, which includes five models ranging from 53 to 105 PTO horsepower. The 1850 was manufactured at the company's Charles City, Iowa tractor factory from model year 1964 
through 1969. Oliver customers could order the 1850 tractor with a variety of engine and transmission options. There were three different engines available for the tractor. The first is a 5.8 liter Perkins turbocharged six-cylinder 354 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 92 PTO horsepower. The second option is a 5.1 liter Waukesha Oliver six-cylinder 310 cubic inch gasoline engine rated at 92 PTO horsepower. An LP liquid propane 310 cubic inch six-cylinder Waukesha Oliver engine was also available, which was rated at 90 PTO horsepower. Depending on the type of fuel that the 1850 tractor was ordered with, it had a variety of fuel tanks available for it. The diesel-powered model has a 31.5-gallon fuel tank, the gasoline-powered model has a 34.5-gallon fuel tank, and the LP model could be ordered with a 42 or a 78-gallon fuel tank. The 1850 tractor could be ordered with three different types of transmissions. The first is an unsynchronized gear drive transmission offering six forward and two reverse speeds, allowing the tractor to travel from 1.7 to 15.6 miles per hour. The second transmission is a hydropower partial power shift transmission with 12 forward and four reverse speeds, allowing the tractor to travel from 1.3 to 15.6 miles per hour. The third transmission was introduced for model year 1967 on the 1850, and that's the Oliver Hydro Shift Partial Power Shift transmission with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. This allows the tractor to travel from 1.5 to 17.2 miles per hour. When the diesel-powered 1850 tractor rolled off the assembly line in Charles City, Iowa, it weighed in at 8,763 pounds. The gasoline-powered model was a little bit lighter at 8,455 pounds, and the LP model weighed in at 7,943 pounds. All three versions of the tractor could be field-weighted up to 10,000 485 pounds with the addition of front weights and wheel weights. Farmers that ordered an Oliver 1850 tractor new would pay $8,952 for the diesel-powered tractor, $8,016 for the gasoline-powered tractor, and $8,422 for the LP-powered tractor. If the farmer wanted a tractor with a powered front wheel assist axle, giving the tractor four wheel drive traction in the field, they would add an additional $1,742 to the price tag. The Model 1850 and other 50 series tractors manufactured in Charles City, Iowa, were not only sold in meadow green and clover white, but they were also produced in Zumac Red to be sold through cockshut dealers in Canada. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing this Oliver 1850 tractor and 466 chisel plow working on primary tillage. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if you use Oliver tractors on your farm. Tell me about the model that you're running and the implements that you operate with it. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube well, there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional classic tractor content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching. 